Hello everybody and welcome to the Survival Chances Slim Summary Series. Boy, that is a mouthful. In any case, uh, this is the series in which we recap what we accomplished in the last 10 cycles of our Oxygen Not Included Let's Play on maximum difficulty settings. And we made pretty good progress in our first 10 cycles here. We have added three new duplicates to our base, Ada, Jean, and Catalina. Uh, we have built for ourselves a fully plumbed bathroom. This is the usual... Uh, infinite bathroom loop where basically we have a clean water line coming in here um, it is fed into our sinks and lavatories they output their dirty water over here that dirty water then goes into our water sieve gets sieved up and then sent back into our system we have also using this little junction right here we've set things up so that any excess water in the system will then get deposited into this liquid reservoir so we are accumulating slowly through the system uh, 6.7 kilograms of water per dupe per cycle, which in total has been 164 kilograms of water. This, of course, has food poisoning in it, but we're going to try and use the water towards inns that don't care about having that food poisoning. Um, we have also gone around and planted 34 mealwood plants. So we have 34 mealwood plants uh, domesticated at the moment. We have some other wild ones floating about uh, randomly around the map. Um, we have some right next to our farm, in fact. Um, we need 60 mealwood plants in total to be self-sufficient with this number of duplicates. And also, we're going to be adding more and more duplicates over time. Uh, we've added Ada, Catalina, and Jean so far to the base. So we've doubled our population. Um, stress is still pretty good. We have everybody sitting in uh, barracks and using the plumbed washroom that we have right here. And this is giving us a pretty nice morale bonus. Morale bonus plus two, morale bonus plus one, right? So they're getting a plus three morale bonus basically just for doing normal things around the base. Um, we have also made a pretty good effort at exploring around our opening biome here. And of course we notice that the temperatures are starting to seep in everywhere, which is uh, not so good. And to try and restrict that, we have started building insulated tile around the affected areas. Uh, in particular, we want to get this area nice and sealed off because these plants, of course, need a 30 degree temperature maximum in order to grow. And this is a lot hotter than that. This surrounding sand is around 75, 80 degrees, um, and it's already getting to around 40 degrees in this area here. We're also going to have some problems coming down the pipe with carbon dioxide. Um, we see carbon dioxide starting to build up at the lower areas of our base. There are other pockets of oxygen we can break into, and we still have a pretty good supply of oxalite kind of left around here, still giving off its oxygen. Uh, but we are going to need to develop some sort of oxygen solution in the near future. Oxyferns will uh, help mitigate the blow if we can take these oxyferns that we have up here and relocate them to the bottom uh, where the CO2 is accumulating and where hopefully we keep the temperatures uh, chilly enough for them to operate then that will go a long way in keeping our oxygen supplies topped off. Um, but ultimately, for each duplicate that we have in our base, we would need 12 wild oxyfern, and we just don't happen to have 72 oxyfern floating around here. So what we're going to need to do is trying to expand our water supply, and this bathroom setup will help with that. Again, 164 kilograms accumulated so far, but we're gonna need a little bit more. So one of the next steps we're gonna have to do is take a bunch of arbor trees, get them nice and planted somewhere where we can harvest the lumber very easily, use the pips to replant them for us, and then start harvesting lumber and using that lumber in a sort of ethanol industry. Um, that's gonna be pretty important going forward. Uh, to that end, we have focused a lot of re our research on uh, working towards that. We have interior decor, we have temperature modulation for the insulated tiles. We have improved plumbing and distillation. Uh, distillation gets us the ethanol distiller, but also gets us the water sieve necessary for the plumbed bathrooms. Uh, we also have a liquid reservoir to store the water that we're uh, getting from our plumbed bathrooms. And then we're also, besides advanced research and farming, which we just kind of naturally need, we're working on the petroleum generator, which we've completed. And then finally, heavy watt wire, because the petroleum generator produces two kilowatts, we're gonna need something better than normal wire to handle those sort of voltages. We're also probably going to want more than one petroleum generator. Uh, this is going to help us a lot as well in powering our ice makers, uh, which we're going to be using to help cool down our base and keep everything nice and chilly. And uh, that's basically where we're at. Added three new duplicates, planted a whole bunch of crops, set up a self-sustaining farm. We have a self-sustaining bathroom. We have a research set up. Um, we're starting insulation everywhere. We're hunting around the map for more things to farm. Uh, we ultimately want to set up a hatch ranch. We found one hatch over here. But mainly we want to replant a lot of our oxyfern and our arbor trees and then get an ethanol, uh, ethanol industry up and running. And that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time.